If you're stuck in a nine to five, just struggling through life, maybe you're living a purposeless life or you're stuck working a purposeless job. If you're not able to live where you want, drive what you want, do what you want with who you want, if you're not able to give the way that you wanna give, if you're not able to take your family on the vacations that you desire to take them on, and simply put, if you're just struggling through, trying to figure out a way how to generate money online, then this is the video for you. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you three easy steps that anyone can take to add an extra $10,000 per month to your top line revenue. Now here's the thing, I have to give you a warning, okay? What I'm gonna share with you in today's video is considered controversial by many people. And I'll, I'll explain why here in just a minute. But I assure you this, what I'm gonna share with you in this video, it's completely morally ethical, it's completely legal, it's completely legit. And if you were to take these three simple steps and apply them to your life, then not only will your life become dramatically better, but everyone else around you's life will become dramatically better. If you're interested, stay tuned and let's jump right on in. So why is what I'm about to share in this video today considered controversial by so many? Because most people only think of making money through the context of trading their time for dollars. Think about this. Most people in society, the way that they make money is to go to work at their job, and if they wanna make more money, then they either have to work harder or they have to work longer, right? That's trading your time and your effort for dollars. So of course, within that context, the idea of making a lot of money easily, it, it's like almost incomprehensible because my only context of making money is I gotta work hard for money and I have to trade time for money. But in today's video, when you take these three simple steps that I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna show you how to leverage these three simple steps through the power of the internet and begin to generate income, not with your time or your effort, but with your creativity. And I'm gonna show you today why making a lot of money in a short amount of time is actually easier than making a little bit of money over the long period of time. Now, before we jump in and I give you these three steps, I wanted to share a few stories with you that I know are gonna encourage you because the punchline is this. Every single one of us, we've all been on the struggle bus before. All of us have been looking for better opportunities, ways to generate more income. These few stories from some of my recent students are really gonna encourage you and give you the inspiration that you need in order to go to the next level in your belief and even in your mindset of just thinking and knowing, man, this is possible and I can do it. So recently I had a student come to me about 14, almost 15 months ago now, and before he came to me, he and his wife had never made more than $50,000 combined in both of their incomes ever in their lives. Like the most money they ever made was $50,000. Now, I don't know about you, but if you're living in America in 2024, $50,000 with a, that's your combined income, like you're, you're struggling to get by, man. Like you're, it's okay, you're not living on the street, but you're, you're struggling for sure. And so he comes to me and he's like, man, I really need a breakthrough. I need to, and, and the language he was using is, man, I need a financial breakthrough. And I said, bro, what you actually need is you need a mindset breakthrough, not just a financial breakthrough, right? So he comes to me, he joins one of my programs, and here we are now, just 15 months later, and this person has become a millionaire using these three steps that I'm gonna share with you today. Story number two, I recently had a single mother join in to one of our mentorships, and she was really struggling to just raise her child on her own. And with these three steps I'm gonna give you today, she began to apply these three steps and she made $9,500 in one single month. Think about that. If a single mother who's struggling can do it, I know you can too. And last story for today, I have a couple who joined one of my programs recently and in 31 days, they made $20,000. All three of these stories have one thing in common. All three of them applied the three steps that I'm about to give to you. So before we dive into the three steps, I wanna give you a little bit of context on how making money actually works because you're gonna need this foundation if you really want to begin to learn how to create money online. Come with me here to the board, okay? So I teach a concept to my students called the wealth pyramid, okay? And essentially what this is, is there are only four ways to make money. And yes, there are different kinds of concepts to make money, but really there's only four ways 
to generate wealth, to, to create money. And unfortunately, most people in culture, most people in society stay on the bottom two levels. And this is why so many people stay on the struggle bus. But if you really want to learn how to generate real wealth, you've got to come up here to the top two levels. And honestly, what I'm going to show you today, if you apply these three steps, you're going to be able to easily make it to the top of the wealth pyramid and generate money online. Okay, so let's break this down here. What are these four levels to making money? I'm glad you asked, okay? Level number one, this is where most people stay, okay? And this is the level that I call muscles, okay? What does that mean? See, most people, the way that they make money, they are trading their time for their dollar, like I just mentioned a little bit earlier, okay? In order to generate money, they actually have to use their muscles, right? They have to actually put effort they actually have to put in time, right? These are people, and, and no shade by any means at all, but these are workers, right? These are mechanics. These are Starbucks workers. These are, honestly, these are um, the higher level of this, of this part of the wealth pyramid is even like doctors, people who don't get paid if they don't go to work, right? So yes, you can actually make a little bit of money on this level, and if you go through a ton of schooling and all that stuff and become a doctor or a lawyer, you could be like a glorified bottom level of the wealth pyramid to where you don't get paid unless you go to work, even though your pay is a little bit higher, maybe a couple hundred K a year. But I don't know about you, but I don't wanna just stop at a couple hundred K a year. I know most people be like, couple hundred K a year, that sounds awesome. What I'm gonna show you today in this video, you're going to be able to have the potential to skyrocket way past a couple hundred K a year, okay? Especially if you just simply take action on the steps I'm gonna give you. So what you don't wanna do is you don't wanna get stuck, and this is where most of culture's at. They, they think, oh man, I need to go find a job. I need to go start working. I need to get some overtime, right? I need to work harder. I need to give longer hours so that I can make more money. And honestly, this is the lowest level of the wealth pyramid. This is the hardest way to generate wealth. And if you're ever actually going to build wealth, this is the slowest way possible in order to build wealth, is to trade your time and effort for money, okay? So you don't wanna get stuck here, okay? You wanna begin to go up the wealth pyramid. Let's go to the next level here, okay? So obviously most of culture stuck here trading their time for dollars, okay? The next level up, you can make a little bit more money Oops, this is management, okay? And for whatever reason, most people in our society, this is like the top of their wealth pyramid, even though it's not the top of the actual wealth pyramid. This is where most people stop. They're like, man, I'm gonna hopefully climb this corporate ladder. Maybe I could like become a manager one day. Maybe I can manage some people. And yes, in, in the context of what we're talking about here, you can make a little bit more money if you don't just trade your time for dollars, but now you manage people who trade their time for dollars. But like I said earlier, like you're a little bit of a glorified worker, right? Because if you don't show up to work as a manager, chances are you're probably not gonna get paid. So what we wanna do is we want to generate money online with our creativity, not with our time and our effort, but with our creativity to the point to where you don't have to show up and you still get paid. In fact, I believe it was Warren Buffett who said it like this, if you don't learn how to make money while you sleep, then you will work until you die. I don't know about you, but I don't want to work until I die just to make a little bit of money. I want to leverage these three steps. I want to grow my wealth through the wealth pyramid steps. And I don't wanna just be stuck as like a worker, like trying to find a job or like, Maybe one day I could be a manager, right? Like I wanna actually go higher and higher in my potential. Because at the end of the day, every single one of us, we're not just, and I don't know if you've thought about this before, we're not just chasing dollars, okay? We're actually chasing potential and we're chasing time freedom. Why do we want more money, right? We want more money because we want more options. We want more freedom. We want more time with our loved ones. We want to give more. We want to be able to do more and you can't do any of it if you're building wealth at the slowest, lowest levels of the wealth pyramid, using your muscles, or hopefully one day I can become a manager, okay? So what are the higher two levels in the wealth pyramid, and how do we apply these levels to generate money online? Let's continue on. 
Hey, I really hope that you're enjoying the video. I wanna invite you guys. I have recently created a free training teaching people how to make money online. My students are literally making anywhere from five to $10,000 a month, and some of them even make hundreds of thousands of dollars, not in a year, but in a single day. If you want more information on how you can get started, all you need is a phone and a laptop. You can go to digitalproductacademy.org or you can click the link below in the description. Guys, after you watch the free training, if it sounds like it might be something cool for you to check out, you can book a free call with one of my client success coaches and they'll be able to help you more. Now, back to the video. So like I mentioned earlier, most people are stuck below this line right here, right? Most people are stuck below the middle line and that's how come wealth moves very slow for them. This is how come wealth seems like it's very hard to generate. But what you wanna do is you wanna make it up past the lower levels and you wanna start getting up here to the higher levels of the wealth pyramid. What's this level? This level I call the mouth level. What does that mean? I want you to consider something right now, okay? Singers, public speakers, um, musicians, right? Like entertainers, actors, comedians. All of these people are using their mouth. They're using their voice to inspire people, to bring value to people, uh, whether it's a way to bring value in the form of comedy or the form of education, right? Or the form of inspiration or the form of just entertainment, right? If they're a, a singer or musician or actor, when you begin to use your voice to make money, something incredible happens. Now your voice can actually be recorded and you can begin to bring value to people's lives in a much more incredible way than just like, I'm going to go clock in and clock out or maybe I'm gonna manage the people who clock in and clock out. Because think about this, every single dollar that is generated online or around the world um, in the marketplace, every single dollar that is generated, period, is generated according to the value that you bring to the market. Okay, so the difference here is, um, let's say you're at the lower level and you're just using your muscles, you're trading your time for your dollars, okay? Um, what is the value of giving somebody, working at, say, Starbucks, again, no shade if you work there, but I'm just painting an analogy here. What's the value of working at Starbucks and handing somebody their $6 coffee. Well, it's pretty valuable to like, you know, wake up in the morning with coffee if that's your thing. But is that going to save somebody's life? Like, is that literally going to, you know, transform their life in such a powerful way that they are changed forever? Like, not necessarily, right? Management, it's the same thing. Like, okay, I wanna make sure all these people do their job and I'm gonna manage them. Well, that's more value you bring to the market. That's why you get paid more. But is it like life-changing, you know, type of value you bring to the market? Not necessarily. But what if you begin to use your voice at the mouth level, right? You're using your voice and you are beginning to inspire people or entertain people or educate people on a high level, well, if you're doing it one-to-one, -one, one song can change somebody's life. Especially if that song, like say Taylor Swift, if that song sweeps through billions of people's ears, right? One song can literally change the whole entire world and it can change the world for a person and the world at large just by one song. What about one movie, right? Like it's so funny. Uh, I've been married almost 20 years now and my wife loves the movie Pride and Prejudice. I know that it's some of y'all's girls jam to watch Pride and Prejudice. Even though we've been married 20 years, she tried to get me to watch that movie probably a hundred times. I still to this day have not watched the whole entire thing. I always fall asleep because it's not my jam. But those actors on there, they're using their voice. They're using their mouth. They're at a higher level of value in the marketplace because not just my wife, any of my wife's friends, if they talk about Pride and Prejudice, they're like, oh my gosh, I love that movie, right? Like everyone's freaking out about that. Why? because it has brought value to their lives in the form of entertainment, right? Or the same thing with comedians, or the same thing with, honestly, like politicians, right? Like they're using their voice to begin to inspire, educate, entertain people and bring value, not just one-to-one, -one, like here's your coffee, sir, right? But now when you use your voice, you can literally impact masses of people 
through the internet, right? That's why I wanted to get to these levels here because when you begin to do this, you're gonna be able to easily make money. Now, I will tell you this right now, who worked harder, like physically harder? Is it the construction worker at the lower level of the pyramid here? By the way, if you work construction, no shade, I'm just painting a point here. Like, is it the guy uh, who is, you know, pouring concrete all day long in the, in the summer heat for 10 hours a day? Like, that guy's working extremely hard, right? Or is it the musician who, um, you know, a famous musician with famous songs who get up there and really just like kind of play, right? They're like they're having fun and playing and then they're getting paid way more for bringing value to everybody en masse. That's the, that's the importance of understanding the wealth pyramid, okay? Like I want you to know this right now before we get into these three steps. I want you to understand that hard work alone does not make you rich. You've got to learn how to work smarter. In our case right here, not just trading your time for dollars, but learning how to use your voice so that you can impact people en masse. Speaking of working smarter, let's go to the top level of the wealth pyramid. Check this out, okay? Up here, this is the level where you really wanna get. This is a two for one, okay? This is where you use your mind and your money to make money. Now, here's the crazy part. The lower you are down here on the wealth pyramid, the harder you work, but the less money you make, okay? So down here on this level, let me get my laser out here. Down here on the lowest level, you're working super hard, right? Like I just mentioned, construction workers, right? Um, whoever, uh, nurses, right? Great jobs, mechanics, banging up their hands all day long, right? You're working super hard, but you're getting paid on such lower levels. Like, think about this. Like, um, I just took my family on vacation. We are there at the hotel and the housekeepers, they're the hardest working people in the whole entire hotel, but they're some of the lowest paid. So you gotta get this concept in your mind, like man, it's not necessarily working hard, right? You go up a little bit higher, you can make a little bit more money, right? But you're still just trading time for dollars. You get up here and you start using your voice and guess what? You can start making tons of money because you're bringing value to people en masse. But this level right here, using your mind and your money to make money, this is the Steve Jobs, this is the Elon Musks, right? You can make almost infinite amounts of money by just simply using your creativity in your mind. Now, here's a bonus. When you are creative, using your mind and your money to make money. And you couple that with bringing that creativity in and then using your voice to communicate the creativity, something incredible happens. You can now level up and not be stuck, you know, just on the lower levels of the wealth pyramid. Now you can actually generate crazy amounts of wealth. Now, I needed to build this context because I wanna ask you a question. What level in this process are you at right now, okay? Let me know down here in the comments. Let me know down in the comments, what level are you at right now? By the way, there's no shame in it. Are you on the muscles level, on the management level? Are you using your voice or your mouth to make money? Or are you like starting to use your mind and you're like, dude, I'll come up with one creative idea and we'll make millions of dollars. Every single one of us are on some part of this wealth pyramid. And I wanna give you the game here today because now we're moving on to the three steps that you can take in order to go from the bottom of the wealth pyramid to the top of the wealth pyramid, and you can do all of it by making money online this year the easiest way possible. Let's jump on in, let's come back to the board. Okay, so what are the three steps that you need to take in order to make 10K a month? Now remember what I said at the beginning of the video, right? Don't limit yourself going like, man, 10K a month, like this sounds crazy because maybe you are at the lower level of the wealth pyramid. Maybe you are that construction worker or you know that, um, that school teacher or whatever it is and you're trading your time for dollars. So don't limit yourself by saying, man, I can't make 10K a month. Yes, you can. In fact, I help hundreds of students every single day 
with these three steps right here that I'm going to give to you. And if they apply them just like you can, they are beginning to get financially free just like you can. Okay. So what are these three steps? How do they work? Let's dive right on in. What's step number one? Okay. Step number one, you have got to choose who you want to serve. See, here's the thing. A lot of people don't understand when it comes to making money online or making money in general, a lot of people don't understand that business is simply, I see a problem in the market and I want to solve this problem. And according to the problem that you solve will be according to the level of money that you get paid. Again, the wealth pyramid, right? If you're solving small problems like you know, flipping burgers and like giving somebody some French fries. That's cool. It's solving a temporary problem. So you're going to make small money. But if you are solving a big problem, like, man, I just want to go, um, you know, hear my favorite band, play my favorite songs, and I'm going to pay 3000 bucks to go sit in the front row. People do this all day, every single day. Like it might not seem like a problem to you, but guys, problems are anything that are obvious, but they're also desires that we have that we want to be fulfilled. Like in the case of, I want to go see my favorite band, right? Or in the case of, um, I'm going to take my family to go watch this cool movie that just came out. And it's not only this family, it's, you know, 50,000 other families that weekend who are also going to see the same movie, right? Like you have to begin to start thinking that wealth is created by solving people's problems. In fact, I need at least 10 people in the comments right now Drop those words. Wealth is created by solving people's problems. So I want you now on this first step to begin to choose who do you want to serve? Like who are the people that you want to solve their problems for? Now, the easiest way to figure this out is to simply coach somebody who is where you were five or 10 years ago. Like who were you five years ago before you became who you are today? right? Like that kind of person should be a very obvious choice for you. Maybe you are a skater, right? Like maybe you are cool at skateboarding. Maybe you are, um, I have people in my program who are, um, seamstresses, right? And they're, they're killing it, right? You might think like, wait, a seamstress? Yes. Because there are beginner seamstresses who would love to learn from somebody who's five, 10, 15, 20 years ahead of them in the game. And they will gladly pay somebody to solve their problem of, I want to learn how to do this. And I don't want to spend 800 hours on YouTube trying to figure it all out. Just help me here. Right. Uh, maybe you're a basketball player. Maybe you are working at Starbucks at the lower level of the wealth pyramid, but maybe you love latte art and you're like really, really, really good at it. There are people who would love to become really, really good at latte art. There are stay at home moms right now who are struggling wishing that somebody could mentor them or coach them. Think about it. If you're a mom watching this right now, um, your first child, there were tons of things that you had no clue about that you just had to learn the hard way. Maybe now if you're two, three, four, five kids in, right? And you, you have all this experience of maybe you're a grandma who's really, really good because you've raised your own kids and now you're helping to raise your grandkids. You have all of this experience around how to help people. You could easily help new mothers. Maybe you are a car salesman who's been selling cars for 20 years and maybe you're going like, well, all I know how to do is sell cars. Exactly. There are people who would love to learn from a veteran like you who's been doing it for five, 10, 15 years. So the point I'm trying to make is the easiest way to choose who you want to serve is to simply pick who was it that I was five, 10, 15, 20 years ago. I want you to become a coach to your younger self, like the person who you used to be, what are all the things that you wish that you could have known then that you finally know now? That's one of the easiest ways to choose who you wanna serve. I need at least 10 people in the comments right now to drop these words. Clarity is the secret sauce. We need clarity, man. If you don't have clarity on who you wanna serve, then you're not gonna know what you wanna do. And if you don't know what, you're, what you want to do, then you're not going to know how to solve those people's problems. Like everything dominoes back from the point of choosing who you want to serve. So I want you literally 
to take 10 minutes today and after you're done watching the video, I want you to take a piece of paper and a pen and I want you to write down all the things that come easy to you but not necessarily easy to others. For instance, maybe you've been a mechanic for 10, 12, 15 years, three years, whatever it is, and you're like, well, I just, I just change oil. Like, I don't know how, bruh, I don't know how to do that. Like, don't, don't so underestimate your skills, your experience, your potential that you write yourself off and go, I'm not good at anything. Yes, you are. Every single one of you watching this right now, you're great at something. Something comes easy to you. Maybe it's a few things comes easy to you, but not so easy to others. That's a really, really good starting point to begin to figure out who do I want to serve, okay? Now you have to figure out who you want to serve because again, clarity is the secret sauce. As soon as you figure out who you want to serve, then you can move on to step number two. What is that, okay? Step number two, now that you have chosen who you want to serve, now what you need to do is you need to put together an irresistible offer. What does that mean? An offer is something that you provide to your market in order to solve their problems. For instance, okay, what is the offer of a grocery store? Well, it's groceries. And see, you might be thinking like, well, this is, duh, exactly. That's my point. Like, well, duh, we all need groceries. That is my point. A business, which in this case is a grocery store, saw that a lot of people have a need for groceries. So guess what they did? They put together an offer saying, hey, if you want groceries, all you gotta do is come here and we will gladly solve your problem by selling you groceries. There are fast food joints that are solving people's problems of like, man, I'm hungry or I'm busy on the way to school or I'm coming home from work, I don't have time to cook or we wanna go out for a treat with the family, whatever it is. And there are these businesses, or in our case, fast food restaurants who are like, yo, our, our foods may not be the healthiest, but it's quick and it's easy. So they're solving obvious problems. What is a way that you can solve an obvious problem for the market or the people that you just chose how to serve? What's an obvious problem that that people group have? Now, you're going to know this very easily because remember, you were that person three years, five years, 10 years, 20 years ago when you were just starting out in that same area, right? So you want to rewind back in your head and think, hmm, what was the biggest problem I had when I was first starting out? What was the three things I wish I could have known when I was in that place? And then all you have to do is put together an offer, okay? You put together some kind of program, a package, a course. Remember we talked about using your mouth or your voice and using your mind to make money, okay? You already have the knowledge up here. You already have the experience in here. All you have to do now is turn on your cell phone and record yourself solving that problem with your information. You're using your mind and your voice now, right? Your mind and your mouth at the higher level of the wealth pyramid. And what you're going to do is you're going to record education for people who are like, man, I wish I knew the best way how to do a better three-pointer if they're in basketball. I wish I knew how to flip sneakers to make an extra 3,000 bucks a month. Maybe you're a hustler and you have a side hustle of making money on flipping sneakers. Teach people, right? There's a difference between being a mule and a magician, okay? And my question to you is, are you a magician or are you a mule? What does that mean? Come back here to the board, okay? When you are at the lower level of the wealth pyramid down here, okay? When you're down here at this level, you're a mule. What does that mean? It means that you're the one doing the work, right? You are the one putting in effort. You're the one putting in time, right? And as you have already discovered through living your life, that is the slowest, hardest way to make money, right?
But what you want to do is you want to use your mind and your mouth, your mind and your voice, your creative ideas, and telling people the creative ideas that you have to solve their problems up on this level. You become the magician. What does that mean? Now, I'm not talking about like, you know, actual magic or like, you know, dark magic where working up spells. No, I'm talking about a magician who makes tricks look really easy. Like how in the world did he pull that rabbit out of his hat? Like that was so crazy. And to the natural mind, it seems like that's impossible. But to the magician, they're like, it was easy because I was creative in how I did this. Let me know in the comments. Would you rather be a mule or a magician in this case? And hopefully the answer is I'd rather be a magician, right? Because when you are, okay, when you have chosen who you want to serve, okay, when you put together an irresistible offer, when you come up with either a product or a service, that's what an offer is, a product or a service that can solve a, various, a, a very obvious problem for your market, Okay, now you go from being the mule on the lower end to the magician on the higher end, right? No longer are you the one doing the work, you're teaching them how to do the work. Just like you wish you would have known three years, five years, 10 years, 20 years ago, right? So that's the second thing you need to do, okay? Recap, come with me here to the board. First thing you gotta do, you gotta choose who you wanna serve, okay? Second thing you've got to do, you've got to put together an irresistible offer. This is something, let me just, for clarity here, this is a product or service that solves people's problems. Look for the most obvious problem that your market has, okay? And then just put together a product or service and sell it to them. And that's honestly, that's step number three Hey, real quick, if you've made it this far into the video and you're liking it, do me a favor, share this video with somebody that you think might also receive some value. My biggest heart in this channel is to simply bring some awareness, financial literacy, and do it all from a biblical perspective. So go ahead and share the video, like and subscribe, do all that stuff too. Back to the video. You want to serve your market by selling your product or service to them. Now you might be sitting here going, wait a second. I don't wanna sell something to them before you go there with your limiting beliefs. I wanna submit something to you, okay? I need you to understand that selling is good because selling is serving. Now yes, every single one of us, we've all had gross or yucky or weird sales experiences where we're like, oh man, that was terrible. And the reason why that has happened to all of us is because the person making the sale was not making the sale to bring a transformation to our lives. They were doing it to make a transformation in their life. What does that mean? When you have an irresistible offer, a product or a service that easily solves people's problems, and it solves their very obvious problems, okay? When you make that offer to somebody, you're doing that to bring a transformation to their life. If you're making the offer to the market so that your life can be better, like I wanna put some money in my pocket, that instantly goes to a bad sales experience. But if you begin to understand, wait a second, selling is good because selling is serving. Think about this, okay? We talked about Starbucks. like. If you need coffee in the morning to wake up on your way to work, man, you never once have thought like, man, Starbucks is ripping me off by selling me this $5 amazing cup of coffee that brings a smile to my face every time I sip it. <laughs> no way, right? Like, you're like, ah, oh, thank God, this coffee is so great. My day is much better now. I'm finally waking up, right? Like, that has brought value to your life in a very obvious way to a very obvious problem that you wanted a solution for. So Starbucks or Apple, right, who are selling computers and phones and music, right, or the grocery store, like we talked about earlier, all of these businesses, they're doing good business because 
they are bringing a valuable transformation to our lives. I don't know about you, but my life has been made easier and better because I have Apple products, right? Like I can shoot a text message. I don't have to page anybody anymore. I don't have to send a beeper message. I don't have to send a fax anymore. I could just contact them on my Apple device, right? Apple out there saw a very big need in the market. And so guess what they did? They solved our problem by using their mind, right? To say, hmm, here's a creative idea. We're gonna do this. And guess how they got it in our hands? They use their voice. They use their mouth to market to us. Like the first time Steve Jobs showed the Apple phone. Guys, check this out. This is the Apple phone. Started going through everything in it. Mind and voice, mind and mouth to make higher levels of income. That's what you can do as well. That's why I'm saying, come back to the board here. That's why I'm saying you got to choose. In these three steps, you've got to choose who you want to serve. Okay. Then you have to put together an irresistible offer then you're gonna serve your market by selling your product or service to them. I'm telling you this right now, those stories I told at the beginning of today's video, uh, the guy who became a millionaire in 14, 15 months, the single mom who made $9,500 in a month, the couple who made $20,000 in 31 days, every single one of those stories and tons of others of my students, they've all done these three steps. They, choose, they chose who they wanna serve, okay? They put together some kind of irresistible offer in the form of a product or a service, right? And then they served their market by saying, hey guys, I'm, I, I can totally relate to who you are because I was where you are just five years ago, just three years ago, just 10 years ago. And the problems that you're going through right now, I've already figured out how to solve them. And all you gotta do is purchase this course or check out my ebook, right? And guys, I'm telling you right now, there are hundreds and thousands and tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, potentially millions of people out there who would love to pay you for solving their problem. Think about this. Like none of us want to go outside and walk on the scolding hot asphalt and get thorns and rocks in our feet, right? That's a very obvious problem. So guess what? There are companies out there like Nikes and Adidas and uh, Adidas and Reebok who are like, there's a very obvious problem. We're going to provide a very obvious solution to the market. We're gonna sell shoes because no one wants thorns and blisters and rocks in their feet. So like I said, step number one, choosing who you wanna serve, it's the most important part of this because when you can get clarity on who you wanna serve, now you can figure out, okay, now that I know who I wanna serve, now I'm going to figure out a way how to serve them in this way with an offer, a product or a service. And then I'm simply going to go to them and go, yo, if you're tired of this problem, I want to give you a solution. All you got to do is purchase my thing. And in our case today, I would suggest having some kind of digital product, like a course, like a, an ebook, like a mentorship. Why? Because these are digital products. They don't need an overhead. They don't need a warehouse. There's no overhead cost. Um, there is no physical items that you actually have to physically ship out. You just, you create them one time, you upload them to the internet, then you go to your market, you provide value to your market. Hey guys, if you have XYZ problem, I would love to help. Check out my ebook, click the link in my bio. It's literally this simple guys. And like I said at the beginning of the training today, when you only see creating wealth by trading your time for your dollar, then of course this is going to seem like, well, that's crazy. Like, I, I can't create a course, I can't create an ebook. Yes, you can. Like every single one of us were born on this earth not knowing how to walk, but guess what? You figured it out. Every single one of us, before we were 15 years old, we didn't know how to drive, but guess what? You figured out how to drive. I submit to you that some things are worth figuring out. If you're tired of being stuck, if you're tired of being in the rat race of the nine to five, if you're tired of being broke, if you're tired of struggling and you want to go to the higher levels of the wealth pyramid, you've got to figure this out, okay? I hope this video has brought some value to your life. If you've liked it, make sure to like, subscribe to the channel, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment, drop some fire emojis there. Guys, if you wanna continue seeing more information like this, stay plugged in here to the channel because I'm dropping two to three videos every single week, just bringing you some business training, financial literacy. We will see you guys and gals in the next video. Thanks for watching.